Yeah. I saw Halloween decor at the store no. last week. Uh, I was like, is it early or is it just how just, it is? No, you're going to start, what is it, August? I'm surprised they don't have the Christmas stuff out. That's <laughs> yeah. usually how it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I was going to tell you what, guys. It is obviously summer, but we've only hit 100 degrees 12 times so far this so year. So we'll is, take that as a win. It's, it's not bad. It's not terrible. And considering that this time last year we were at like 45 triple-digit days, it's some improvement, mm -hmm. and we like the cloud cover and the rain. So let's talk about the forecast and how hot it gets for the next couple of days. And here's summer so far. 12 days so far at 100 degrees or hotter. This time last year, we were at 45, but 2023 totaled out at 75 days of triple digit heat, 100 degrees or hotter. The annual average is about 18 for San Antonio specifically. It does vary. Across the hill country, across South Texas, the average last 100 degree day is August 26, but we've hit triple digit heat as late as September 28th here in the city of San Antonio. Okay, outside right now, it is clear, a little bit of cloud cover outside. Temperature wise, 97, feels like 104. Humidity is surging off that southeast wind. 100 at Hondo, 101 at Let's say Uvalde, 106 at Del Rio, 104 at uh, Eagle Pass across Maverick County. So it is extremely hot out there. Humidity, not much better. As a matter of fact, the air temperature and the heat index, a big spread. 104 is the heat index in the city, 100 at Kerrville, 107 at Carrizo Springs, and similar numbers towards Eagle Pass and uh, the Rio Grande. Tonight's forecast, we stay clear. By about 8 p.m., there may be a couple of downpours moving into the hill country. Not so much here in San Antonio. We stay partly cloudy. 90s on the map for this evening with a southeast wind, very light, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, we talked about rain. There is a front in northeast Texas pumping its brakes between Dallas and Austin. What that will do is act as a trigger in the atmosphere for a couple of downpours moving across San Angelo north of Junction and some of this will drift towards Gillespie County towards the Hill Country, Fredericksburg, Kerrville. It's going to be me mainly widely scattered by tomorrow morning, mostly quiet. But watch what happens 8, 9, 10 a.m. A couple of downpours will be around from the downtown area towards Seguin, Gonzalez, I-35. The rain chance will stick around through 10 a.m. Quiet through the early afternoon with another chance for rain. Scattered showers by the late evening hours. Tomorrow's forecast 97, 9 a.m. Chance for rain. Same thing around 4 and 5 and 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Night. Very quickly, heat wave 102s to 103s in the forecast for late next week. The only relief that's out there is far removed from San Antonio. In the eastern Gulf of Mexico, Tropical Storm Debbie will make a northeast turn just north of Tampa as a Category 1 by about Monday and Tuesday, impacting the Carolinas by early next week. Okay, the extended forecast, 99 tomorrow, 30% chance at some isolated downpours. 99 Monday, 100 Tuesday, and then here comes the heat. It cranks up to 101, 102 by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Next chance at rain after Monday into Friday and Saturday as we cruise into the middle of August.